Previously, you have learned about the Earth's layers. Today, let's learn more detail about the composition of the Earth. Earth's crust is formed from various types of rocks which differ in colour, structure, texture and the way it is formed. Generally, the rocks can be categorised into three groups, namely igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Each type of rock forms differently and takes thousands of years to form. All rocks contain materials known as minerals. Igneous rock is formed from the process of cooling and freezing of magma or lava that flows out of the mantle. Igneous rock contains various minerals. Igneous rock is very hard, shiny, unlayered and do not contain fossils. Example of Igneous rock are granite and basalt. Second type of rock is sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is formed by compression of deposited materials carried by rivers, glaciers, and wind. Sedimentary rock consists of many layers which are sometimes hollow and contain fossils. Examples of sedimentary rocks are limestone and sandstone. The type of rock is metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rock is formed when igneous rock and sedimentary rock are exposed to very high temperature and pressure in the Earth's crust. Metamorphic rock is harder, smoother and its colour is brighter compared to its original rock. Metamorphic rock are impermeable. That means it does not allow fluid to pass through. Examples of metamorphic rocks are marble. Marble is formed from limestone, a type of sedimentary rock. The second example of metamorphic rock is gneiss. Gneiss is formed from granite, a type of igneous rock. Let's learn about the process of rock formation. The formation processes of igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks that occur in the geosphere can be explained through the continuous rock cycle. What is rock cycle? The rock cycle is a concept used to explain how the three basic rock types are related and how earth processes over geologic time change a rock from one type into another type. The rock cycle involves the formation of new rocks, destruction or changes of the types of rock due to erosion, weathering and magmatic activity. The process of cooling and freezing of hot magma forms igneous rock. The process of weathering and erosion of igneous rock forms sedimentary rock. The transformation process due to very high temperature and pressure on igneous rock and sedimentary rock forms metamorphic rocks. Process of melting due to very high temperature on metamorphic rock from magma again. The rock cycle continues. Igneous rock can change into sedimentary rock or into metamorphic rock. Mountains made of metamorphic rocks can be broken up and washed away by streams. New sediments from these mountains can make new sedimentary rock. The rock cycle never stops. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.